and welcome back to the non-league adventure with me GW365 this is season 3 episode 10 the final episode of this season uh, we've occurs the National Football Club and this is Football Manager 2016 we're playing in case you couldn't tell if you joined us last time we were offered a glimmer of hope against uh, Aldershot we beat them 2-0 we were what 11 points off safety with four games to play since then our fate has been sealed I did say that I'd be I'd strip naked and post some on YouTube or something, but I don't have to because apparently Mikhail Mandron is the best player in the world. Uh, every chance he seemed to get, he scored. And even every chance he seemed to, to seem to have got, should I say, he scored, and literally just destroyed us. Oh, excuse me, single-handedly before uh, Matty Patterson came up with some goods. Um, yeah, so we are down, uh, unfortunately, and that was. Yeah, there we go, relegated, along with uh, Aldershot at that, at that point. Well, worth noting, I forgot to highlight this, but his initial uh, wage budget is 6500 I believe. So it's not much less. So we have got a, bit, a better um, wage cachet, if you like, for uh, next season than that the previous season, I, when, we win, when we won the Northern um, Region. Panorama National League, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we then had a very poor game against Tramia for some reason. All of a sudden, we just couldn't do a thing. Uh, we had quite a few chances, but I think we had some in the last game. In the last game, I'm sure we had like nine shots, eight on target. This time, we only had three shots. I mean, that's not exactly survival sort of form, although we'd already been relegated, so it's pretty understandable, if I'm being honest. Now, I know I said I'd probably leave for another another team. Nuneaton came into us. They're in the Vanarama, na Vanarama North. Um, league uh, and they're 21st they're actually in the relegation spots so I didn't feel that it, w it would be worth my uh, time going there because chances are I'm going to out of the uh, out of the conference as well, the conference conference north if you want to call it that and we followed that up with our last game which was against Barrow uh, we lost 3-2, it was a bit of a shame really we, we were doing alright but nevertheless we, we got packed basically and I forgot to do it again but this is the final table. Um, as you can see, all four of us in the relegation zone have been relegated. Um, so it looks like we'll be playing Southport next season, I would imagine. Because um, Aldershot and Altrincham, I believe they're like down near London somewhere, so they'll be on the south one. Braintree survive, as do, as do the team that, that came up with us last season. Very disappointing. Uh, we've got last game of the season against York. They are 11th. They're finishing in mid-table obscurity. They could get as high as 9th if they beat us, which is more than likely going to be the outcome. Um, and yeah, unfortunately, yeah, wage budget is going to be 6,300 next season. So we are going to have to uh, sell some players or get let some players go. Um, and I've just submitted the team, and I've not even looked at the team, at the players. I wanted to show you the, the tactic. Let's have a look. Tactics. This is the team we're going to be using. They're all fit, apart from Matthew Flynn, that's fine. Um, so we're going to go the same team that's just played the last couple of games, really. Um, with the exception of Tom City was injured for a couple of, couple of games. Um, yeah, it's not been a good season. I'm going to rethink the tactics again. Um, you know, I'm going to have a bit of a read on the Sports Interactive in the close season and see what I can use, because at the end of the day... You know, we just haven't been good enough. I don't know if it's a case of uh, the players just haven't been good enough. If that's what it is, please let us know in the comments. Um, but as it stands at the moment, you know, we just haven't performed with any tactic, really. We had a, a brief bit of, like, you know, success with a counter-attack one. But then that, that then that just turned to shit as well. And I've got it on fast again. I apologise. There we go. But for this last game of the season, all I want is a good good performance really. If we can get a point in the last game of the season, I'd, I'd take that as a you know a positive thing. But never mind, it's away from home, we're massive underdogs. But we now we have a, a chance to give the ball away, which we do with great aplomb. Uh, and as a result, Fletcher is in a position to shoot. James Berry plays it to Carson on the left. And <laughs> I mean, th that just sums it up. I mean, that was one of the easiest saves you'd ever make. and. I think the goalkeeper situation has hindered us. If Baird had stayed, it would have probably been all right. But as it was, it wasn't to be. Cause, I mean, he's, he's got yeses and acres, basically. He could pick his spot, but I'm sorry, but he didn't even attempt to save that. He 
He's just like a defender closing down. Not even using his arms. So... I'll probably do this in the, like a end of season review at the end as well. Um, see where, well, see who's who's performed, who who hasn't, which which is pretty much every player. There's been a, a select few that's that's performed, but uh, yeah, I expect that to be two 0 then. It's been a long hard season, 35 points, and this is actually the first time I've ever been well, first time I've been relegated since probably 2005. Uh, champ manager or whatever it was. I think I seem to remember being Peterborough when they were in back in the day when they were in league. It might have even been before, you know. And they were in the old old division three, which is now League Two. I got promoted. I remember signing J. Simpson, I believe, uh, on loan, and I managed to sign him the next season. He only had finishing of two, but he scored quite a lot in the bottom division then, which was League Two. Um, and then we got promoted and went straight back down again. That's the only other time I've ever been relegated. So you can imagine my disappointing, d disappointment and how hard this game is this season. I've, I've usually been, I like to think I've been a decent manager, but apparently I'm I'm just as bad as, which sounds things, a lot of people. Um, a lot of people are struggling on the uh, Sports Interactive uh, forums. I'm just going to try and ha have a, have to have a read and understand uh, certain tactics for this for our team because it's just I've just tried so many different tactics even in, in other saves as well I've tried them I mean, and it, I just fail miserably every time and it's I, it, I'm, I'm putting it down our promotion just purely to look and that's it this is gonna be oh I thought grounds gonna miss it and it was gonna be 2-0 you know the first step was to try and stop us getting you know, mauled by teams, and but I mean the last game in particular, Coughlin, he he had four clear cut chances and miss, and the keeper saved every single one of them. As a result, had a 5.6 rating in the last game. But when you're not putting away goal opportunities, well, the same as what I'm saying that the cross is coming in from deep, uh, literally uh, four yards out, straight at the keeper, and that's the way most of their goals come. The cross in, and you just score. Uh, pretty much every single time whereas you know Grimes at McKinney says their keeper is like a man possessed and just saves everything it seems every single game it's very demoralizing I must say uh, we're gonna make a couple of changes Sam Ward is gonna come off uh, you know let's just make all the changes yeah so it's gonna be a massive shake-up in terms of the players we're having I'm gonna try and get rid of Tom Sit because Tom Sit He's on £600 a week and he's, he's not really justifying it really. He's on more than most of the other players in the league. Uh, probably from top of the, well, middle of the table downwards. You know. But this has been a really disappointing season. But a really disappointing campaign really. I'd be glad to get this, this season out of the way. And I, I, I had a bad feeling when, when we went on that early losing streak. And I, I just didn't know what to do. You know, we started off with a 3-0 win. Hopes were ridiculously high. I mean, this is the sort of goal we concede. There you go. In fact, that sums up our season right there. Ample opportunities to clear that away. And no one does. They all just stand there. Ball comes in. There you are. Ricochets. Look, why couldn't he, Canero, kick that away anywhere? And then he kicks it into our guy's face and it goes in. That definitely sums up our season. If there's another season-defining moment, or not defining, but uh, another way to dis describe how the season's gone, I challenge you to find another another, <laughs> another point, really. Yeah, so the season en ends in dismay. Uh, that's 3-0. Oh, uh, no, Grimes actually makes a save for once. First shot is saved. But that's going to be it, yeah. Disappointing season, all over. I'll have a quick look at the review at the end of the season. <laughs> See if there's anyone I can actually try and keep. We are, worth noting, we are still going to have Stevenage as a, uh, a feeder club. Unfortunately for us, we couldn't get McKay. I tried again several times. I just didn't want to loan him out. He's, 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 you know, he's rotting in the... <laughs> See what I mean? This is what I've had to contend with. You don't see that happen with, their t with the other opposition players. It just seems to happen to my players, and you know, if if you could give us the answer, please send us it in the, in the comments, because that's just disgusting. So for one last time, I'm gonna say I'm far from pleased. It's worth noting that I'm not actually 
I've not actually got a contract coming up. I mean, wreck some storm to it. I mean, 96 points is ridiculous. Much deserved. I have a feeling as well we might have got out of it had we have, you know, if I go to the schedule here. I mean, look at that. We, we, I know the friendlies and against lesser opposition, but we even beat Championship Oldham. You know, that's how positive I was about this season. And we were winning 8 0, 6 0. We didn't concede any, hardly any goals. And then we beat Braintree 3 0. We drew the next two games, which, you know, that's not a bad start after three games. And then we lost to Forest Green and we drew again. And then we lost to Kidderminster. Kidder then we drew again and, and won. So after, like, what's that, eight games? Seven games? We'd won two, we'd drawn, drawn four, and, and lost two. That's eight games. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, eight games. So that that's like mid table form. And then Ebsfleet came along and, and just absolutely trounced us six two. And then that's what prompted me because I thought I can't be losing games six two. We're just gonna get trounced. Maybe I should have stuck with the tactic, but I felt I had to had to change something. Um I think definitely a turning point was uh why can't I go down any lower than that? For some reason it's not letting me go down any further than that. Don't know why. Very strange, but yeah, it's very strange. It will let me go down any further. Um, if anyone's got any idea why that's happening, uh, please let us know because that's a bit strange. I was going to say I think that was a turning point there. AFC f filed losing that game in the FA Cup. I think that knocked all the confidence losing against a weaker side. You know, then we got beat three nil, then five one, then two nil in the next three games, conceding ten goals and only scoring one in three games is nowhere near good enough. Uh, unfortunately, it seems that I can't. Uh, can I go down for? I can now. That's very strange. I don't understand why it did that. But yeah, picked up a couple of points here and there. Won in the trophy, and then lost to lower league oppos opposition again. Just no consistency whatsoever. We got odd wins here and there. Wasn't good enough. So going into the squad, um, we start with the average ratings. Best player for us, apparently, after 12 appearances, was Jacob Davenport. You might be thinking, well, why don't you keep playing him? His determination was three. And I thought, we're in a relegation battle here. We need people who are determined. He's now at Histon, uh, on loan, um, whether he's going to go there afterwards. Uh, probably the best signing we made was probably River Allen. I mean, 7.36 average rating after 15 games is pretty damn awesome. Um, whether we can keep him for next season, it's probably unlikely. Uh, Ty Phillips only played 10 games uh, and got an average rating of 7.21. I think he was a massive miss this season, despite his his, pro uh, his progression going backwards. Tetty did well when he came in. He's got an average rating of 7.08. Jordan Jones was quite consistent after 34 games and three sub-appearances, getting 7.08 7 average rating. Pedro Canero, similar story, 7.06. Sam Ward came in for the last 13 or so games and got an average rating of 7.04. 7 he did all right. It was pretty solid. Luke Foster played 35 games for us, uh, if you include the sub-appearances, and he got a 7.03 average rating. Uh, he's 32. He's not going to get any better. But whether he's any good for the lower league, I don't know. Uh, I'm not going to include Sebastian because he played four games. Um, and, yeah, that was about as good as it got, really. Uh, in terms of goals... Top scorer had seven. It was a, a second midfielder left uh, who got it, really. In 49 appearances, he scored seven goals. It's not good enough. Three assists. Top of the assist chart was Jordan Jones with five. I mean, that just tells you all you need to know, really. If we look at the competition in Hull, please, if we can. Uh, view stages. There we go. Um, yeah, you can see here, we only we scored 41 goals, it wasn't the least, it was the second least, just uh, ahead of Aldershot, who got 39, um, and we conceded 79, which is the second most behind FC Halifax, who conceded 80, and uh, we conceded most of our goals against Gateshead, uh, followed by Lincoln and Ebb's fleet, um, yeah, it was definitely a campaign to forget, if, if you, you know, Look at like the teams up here, like that have finished eighth and seventh. They've scored eighty odd goals this season. You know, we've scored forty one. It's less than a goal a game. It's not good enough. Uh, so yeah, that's it now. Um, we're out of the league. It says unwilling to experiment. Why? Why are you complaining? We're at already down. I sound the team because I do. Um, but the curtain does come down on this this season. It's one to forget. Um, 
and it's definitely something we need to think about. We currently are out of contract. I'll look at my profile. Uh, this is us at the minute. Attacking coaching is 15, which isn't bad. Techniques 13. We're actually improving quite well, us as cells, as in myself here. Um, I have a feeling if we do get offered a contract, it'll be significantly less than that. Uh, nice to know that Louis van Gaal's got a bad opinion of me because he's, you know, why? Why does he even care? Can we sign him? No. Nope. Where's Where's the ambition? This would be a challenge. So yeah, um, finances. You can see. Oh God, excuse me. You can see here, two hundred three pounds, uh, two hundred three thousand pounds in the red. Uh, we are going to have to look at most of the squad. I'm probably going to put half of them up on the transfer list. Let some people go. John Thewlis was the top scorer last time we were in the division. Is he going to be good enough? Let's have a quick look. He says he would be a decent player for Van Arama North South Sides. He, did, he was a top scorer, joint top scorer last uh, when we were in uh, that division last time. We're going to have the likes of Joe Aribo coming down with us on £325 a week. Is he going to be good enough? Um, apparently he's a two and a half star player. He's very well suited to North South football. I think we'll have to wait and see. Um... Yeah, we are definitely going to have to lose some players. Um, but yeah, we'll have to come to that later on. If we go to the competitions, uh, I want to look at something. Player stats. Um, yeah, so top scorer was David Ball of Barrow, I want to say. Barrow, yeah. David Ball was the top scorer. He's got lots of goals. You can see he's quite a lot better than any of our players. Uh, most assists was Ross White. He got 22 assists from right back. Believe it or not, um, you'll know you'll note here that there's like no one on our uh, out, of our, out of our team. It's on any of these lists. Nearest probably would have been the average rating, but yeah, we just it was just a poor season. Um, and I'm gonna think I'm gonna call out a video there. So who knows where the future lies here? Of of you know my con my what's the word I'm looking for? My employment, basically, is I don't know where I'm going to be um, with that on my CV. Nine losses and one win. I don't think I'm going to be getting many job offers of, of any decent magnitude. Um, we'll have to wait and see, but, you know, it, what will be will be. If I'm still with the uh, Curzon Ash next season, then look forward to that. If not, then it might be with another side. It, it all depends. See, what, see what's around the corner. But until then, hopefully I've enjoyed this video, uh, enjoyed me suffering basically. Um, if you have, why not press that like button. If you'd like to see more uh, Football Manager videos, um, yeah, feel free to subscribe. And hopefully we'll have a bit of a better campaign next time. And hopefully you'll join us for that. And until then, I will see you then. Bye-bye.